welcome back to my YouTube channel dolls. My name is Kotab Giselle. If you're joining me for the first time, thank you so much for joining and I really hope you enjoy my content. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you never miss um, when I post a new video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support and thank you for joining me today. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the new Fenty Beauty Soft Lit um, Luminous Foundation. I have been wanting to do a review on this foundation and also I did a poll on my Instagram and YouTube and people voted for me to do a review on this foundation so I'm super excited because if you know this about me or if you don't know about this about me I absolutely love luminous and natural foundation that gives you that natural look and it's not too cakey so I've been super excited to do this review as always we're going to talk about the claims a little bit about the product what I think about it and then we'll go straight into trying it out and seeing how it looks on my skin. I will be leaving the foundation on um, all day and then, I'll be, and then I'll be coming back to let you guys know how I got on with the foundation and how it held up. So yeah, let's get straight into today's video. First things first, it comes in 50 different foundation shades from light to light medium, medium, medium deep and deep. I really love that Fenty always makes sure that everybody's skin tone is covered. They have everybody sorted. And also I love that they focus a lot on undertones, which is always something that a lot of brands don't get right, especially for people of color, because we all come in different undertones. So I really like that they have everyone sorted from warm to neutral to cool. Um, it's really amazing and that's one thing which is why I always gravitate to Fenty Beauty Foundation because they've just got me sorted. So I'm just going to read some of the details of the foundation. So it is described as a long wear medium coverage foundation that gives you a golden hour glow which is lovely and all day um, long and stays fresh on the skin. It hydrates, brightens and improves the skin tone um, both instantly and over time while sweating, while resisting sweat, uh, humidity and transfer. Um, this is a lightweight waterproof formula, instantly reduces the appearance of shine and gives a whole new kind of radiance. And this is just right um, notch above natural luminosity in a bottle. So I really love that that's how it's described because I am all about luminous, radiant um, foundation that take care of the skin and that improve your skin tone. And I also like that it's a me medium um, and a buildable coverage foundation, which is good because sometimes you wanna go a little bit light and then other times you want to, you know, have a nice full glam, but not too cakey. So we'll definitely see how it looks on my skin. Um, I've tried the hydrating foundation from Fenty before and I absolutely loved it. So if it's anything like that and a little bit better, then foundation is available on Sephora, Fenty Beauty, Selfridges, Harvey Nichols and Boots. Um, so if you live in the UK, that's where you can buy it from and it is £34. So really good price point in terms of foundation. Um, I'm just really excited to try it. It comes in a glass bottle, so a little bit like the Pro Filter um, Matte Foundation. It just comes in a glass bottle. So I really like that they have that consistency in terms of the packaging. And I love the Fenty Beauty packaging. I just think it's such, it looks very timeless and really represents Rihanna very, very well. So guys, today I'm gonna to be testing out the shade 350. I really, really enjoyed the hydrated um, foundation when I tried it. I liked that it wasn't oxidizing too deep. So I really hope that this is the same way as the hydrated one because I wasn't a fan of how 
much oxidization the pro filter had so that's just something to consider but we'll try it out and see what it looks like so i'm going to apply it onto one side of my face and then i'll leave the other side bare just so that you can see the difference i'll put one pump to begin with and then i'll put a second one and then sort of give you guys um the detailed foundation review so here i'm just showing you applying the foundation the first time on my face i just put on one pump because i just wanted to show you what it looks like as you can see i'm just saturating that nicely with that brush and then i go in with my beauty blender to blend it all over that cheek area and you're going to see how much of a difference it's made just with that one pump it feels super light the formula is a very very light it's weightless as described and it doesn't feel very thick whatsoever it just feels like a second skin um, on top of your actual skin and as you can see I have dark circles um, underneath my eyes and it's just managed to really cover that nicely and give me an awakened look um, I really really love the consistency of this foundation especially now that it's summer in the UK I just like to um, apply lighter foundations so that's what my skin looks like before and then that's what it looks like with one pump I'm also showing you a comparison of what two pumps look like um, and it is just amazing guys I absolutely love how it looks and I love the finished effect that it's given my skin I'm just showing you here my blemish that I have and how it's just covered that really nicely but you can still see them um, I think this foundation is amazing guys absolutely lovely so everyone I've just applied the rest of my makeup off camera this is what we are currently looking like face wise I've also applied um, some powder to my t-zone area so you can really still see the radiance of the foundation coming through I will do um, a roundup of what the foundation looks like at the end of the day but so far it's looking really really good but definitely if you're not someone that has um that has if you're someone that has oily skin i would definitely not recommend you um to test out this foundation because it does give you a bit of a glow and some people don't really like that very much so yeah i'll see you guys a little bit later on hello everyone i've just come back to show you what the foundation looks like at the end of the day. It's relatively held up really well um, all around my face. The only part of concern is just around my laugh lines here. I get creases, but that's not very um, unusual because I tend to get creases quite a lot and I have a lot of expression as well. So I do tend to see a lot of, lot of um, creasing just around my mouth area and also underneath my eyes. I just have a little bit of creasing that you can um, see slightly there. But that is nothing unusual like i said it's something that tends to happen quite a lot um, with any foundation that i put on but apart from that i would definitely say this foundation is a 9 out of 10. Um, i wouldn't recommend it to people with oily skin and people that don't like um, hydrated foundations and to suggest more of a matte foundation for individuals that have oily skin so you might not like this foundation but this foundation is definitely great for just achieving that natural luminous glow um, coverage overall. I really like that it does that and it's very natural as well to the skin and it doesn't look cakey whatsoever which is another thing that I really really love about it. It is definitely a medium coverage foundation. I wouldn't call this a full coverage foundation but you could build it up um, to a full coverage if you apply a little bit more but I think for a day-to-day -day basis you just want to go with two pumps are enough to cover up um, your skin like what I did today but overall I think it is a good foundation it definitely lives up to everything that it's said so I would say like I mentioned 
it's a nine out of ten for me in terms of um, luminous fact uh, feel and also a natural looking and lo and um, radiant feel. So yeah, that is pretty much what I think about the product. Do check it out if you haven't checked it out already. The hydrating foundation from Fenty. I would say that is more of like a full coverage, but this is definitely medium coverage. Um, it does the job for day to day when you don't want to apply a lot of makeup on the skin. So yeah, definitely give it a check out. Um, let me know what you think as well of this foundation and let me know what you thought of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment like the video share the video and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye dolls mm -hmm. bye